So I wanted to review what we talked about today, and I'm going to show you another example about, you know, finding Google Books and how to find stuff in the library catalog before we go to the library on Tuesday. So here's a sample topic. Uh, the student wanted to write about uh, eating bugs or entomophagy, and so they created their concept map using uh, different categories than maybe what you looked at today. So just notice that there are five, and they listed everything that they knew already about each of these restricted topics, which are the is another name for the words that are in the boxes, uh, oh, and provide you a way to categorize information. So notice the bullet points. Notice also that the student wrote questions down as well, things that they wanted to know about um, these restrictive topics. And so they came up with a lot of good information. They listed some questions. They did a great job. So then they did their table down here, which is what you did today with your sample topic in class. And this part might feel a little bit repetitive, but it's a great way to organize your questions uh, before you get into further research. And so that's why I ask you to take it this next step, even though you may have listed questions previously in the concept map. But go ahead and do this part anyway. And this way you'll have several questions to focus on and uh, used to guide your research. So this is a smart way to do it is having questions that you ask beforehand so that your articles and your books and your visual sources can answer these questions. So then after this next step I want you to try going to Google Books and then seeing if we have some books that you might find there in the library catalog. So let's just go to Google and let's type in eating bugs and you get some lovely images here we're going to go to uh, we already talked about Google News so let's just go down you can usually find Google Books here um, but don't forget blogs too you can also find some reliable blog sources so let's just go to books for example and you come up with some interesting titles um, that one looks relevant um, even though it's been published in 2004 and let's just see if the library has this, or let's check for a preview on Google Books first. So you click on it. This one, unfortunately, does not have a preview. So what we do is we see if the library has it. So we're going to copy the title and go to Sakai, and you can access the library page from Sakai if your internet is working just by clicking on this tab, and this is the page that you'll come up with. Go ahead and click on University Libraries, and this will take you to the library's main page where you can do a catalog search, and I like to use this one here. And then you would type in the title and do a search. And lucky you, the library has this book, and to be able to check it out, all you do is click Request It, and then you would need to log in so that the library can put a hold on that book and um, assign it to your account. Now, you have to do one important thing before you're able to log in here and, ask and make a request for that book. And what you have to do is register your library barcode, which is a 14-digit number on the top of your URL. It's at the bottom, actually, of the front of your URI ID card and it starts with a 2. So what you have to do is take that library card to the front desk of the library and register it. It takes two seconds if you've never checked out a book from the library before. But if you have checked out books then you should be able to log in no problem. So if you try to do this and you're getting an error message that means your your card hasn't been registered. So make sure that you do that. And then you know, when you request this book, let them know that you want to pick it up in the Kingston campus. You can tell them ASAP, please. If you want, you don't have to do that. Click Submit. And then the library will file your request for that book. So that's the end of that. That is how to check for books to see if the library has them. So I'm just going to go back to our original Google search right here. And I'm going to type in a new keyword. And instead of eating bugs, I'm going to put entom entomophagy. 
and we'll do a Google book search for there. And you get several results. I'm going to click on this one, Creepy Crawly Cuisine, The Gourmet Guide to Eating or to Edible Insects. This one happens to give us a preview, whereas the other one did not. So when you scroll down here, you can see this one doesn't give you a table of contents, unfortunately, so you'll just have to scroll through the preview that they give you. They'll let you see selected pages. And this is a good way to scan to see if the book is even going to be useful for you. And it looks like it would be perfect. If you want to know more, you can do a, a specific search within the Google Book Preview. Um, for example, here you go. Type in dessert and see what comes up. Anyway, uh, this page might look interesting, but they don't show that book in the preview, so I just want to see if they have it in the library. Again, you would just copy the title, go back to your library card, or your library search, and type that in and they happen to have this book also. So again, uh, we have it on our shelves. So you just need to request it. And unfortunately, you get a weird message that says this is not available. I don't know what that means. So I'm just going to close that. And I've never seen that message before, but maybe that means that the library, the copy is missing, or for some reason they don't have, they can't find the book for whatever reason. So let's do this. Let's go to interlibrary loan. There is a way to get this book if the library for some reason does not have it. So you're going to need some title and you'll need some information about the book. So you're going to need the publisher, the ISBN number, etc. So I'm going to keep this window open. I'm going to go to Whoops, I need the library page. which you can again access from Sakai. But this time you're going to go to the right side where it says interlibrary loan. And this is just a way to get books from other libraries. So click on interlibrary loan request forms and you want a book. And you're just going to copy and paste the title. And the author. and any other information they have for you. ISBN number speeds the processing. So if you can get that, that's always helpful. The more information you have, the quicker they're able to process the book. So, this particular entry does not give you the publisher. Oh, just kidding. It does right here. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in here. And then, don't forget this part. Put your email address in there so that they can notify you when the book is ready for you to come and pick it up at the library. Otherwise, you know, you'll miss your request. So submit the request. You'll get a page that looks like this. Your request has been sent to the library, and then they will email you when your book, the book is ready to, for you to pick up. So those are things I expect you to do for this project, whether you know your topic is a more recent one or one that you know is well established and there's lots to say about it. But I do want you to try these searches out and see what you can find using the tools that are available. So. Try them with your sample topic and see what you can find.